oh, we enter a new dungeon. And of course, he's a subway. Well, what's this called? Croc's favorite meal is witches. All right, onward and inward. Everyone but Mogilu, tread carefully. Some assassin's crew we are. Ooh, a new place. Oh, and, and a new skin. Oh, yeah, hello, save point. The Bloodwings are a serious organization. I'm impressed that they know about this entrance. And they have agents on the inside to facilitate this little operation, too. They must have branches working all over the Empire. They've probably even figured out how to get cats and dogs working for them. Here's a juicy morsel about them. They make sure even their corpses go to good use. They what? Long ago, one of their agents stole into the castle. When the guards discovered him, they chased him to this very passage. He dove into the water to escape, and then... CRUNCH! Uh, a crocodile devoured him in one massive bite. All that remained was his arm, bobbing to the surface. From this, two important facts were learned. What were they? First, they learned of the existence of this passage. Second, they could serve crocodile meat in town. Crocodile meat rubbed with human blood becomes tender and succulent. Perfect for Mavo Curry. Okay, what? I ate... If it's so tasty, I'll have to try it. Rubbed with the blood of a lying witch. That would hit the spot, I think. And it wouldn't even affect our combat strength. Hey, the kid's a wreck. It was just a joke to help calm him down. It was... a joke? Yeah, I totally made up that part about the crocodile. Mabo curry is actually made from man-eating catfish who... <laughs> and she... Crocodile full. Nice and I knew, Maggie. Let's keep moving. Right. I'll get you for this, witch killers! Hey, look! The water level dropped. You don't think there are any alligators down there, do you? Whoa, a slime? Always ready to fight. Oh, that's the power to do! That's the wide open! That's the power to do! 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 I wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it if I... Don't waste my time. Killing Flash! But I'm this close. I won't miss! Form Zero! I unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid... protecting the people from demons, but there are demons right under their noses. Abby security is certainly lacking here. The whole point of building those massive walls around the city is to keep people safe inside. But if there's a demon outbreak on the inside, those same walls will make it harder for everyone to escape. The palace covers a lot of ground, so there are tons of hiding places. It wouldn't be hard for a demon to slip in through the waterway. I'm sure the Abby is aware of that. Perhaps it's a trap made to lure intruders in. 
What? They lure demons in and then ignore them? Something doesn't add up. I know, right? We need to get through here while it's still nighttime. The perfect place for prognostication. Eeny teeny spiny crow. Which way, which way shall we go? Mogilu. Oh, verily the icy glare of death. Boy, which way do you think is best? I. <laughs> there must be a way up somewhere. Let's find it. <laughs> uh. Looks like you want to die. See Okay, let's see what we have here. Why so glum, Velvet? The thought of killing a man weighing heavy even on your own damaged conscience? Not especially, but I wonder how you remain so flippant about it. Hey, I'm not here to murder anyone. I'm just tagging along in search of my traitor. <clears throat> Do we have to kill him? Can't we just make him stop this nectar business? I don't think he'd listen to us. Huh? Word in the taverns is that this high priest is a real shady character. The Abbey and the religion are popular now, but three years ago, no one had heard of them. High Priest Gideon was the one who led the church through those dark days. But once Malachim became visible to the general public, and they learned how effective Malak arts were against demons, that all changed. Humans are such fools, only believing what they can see with their own eyes. And once the church had attained popular support, a nasty power struggle swept through the ranks. Many vied for the mantle of high priest, charlatans, power-hungry converts, but they all faded away. They left the church? No, they all met their maker. Some from disease, others from accidents. And in the end, Gideon became high priest. Uh, he may be the head of the church, but the people clamor for Shepherd Artorius. That's got a sting. Either way, if we're to face him, he might have some tricks up his sleeve. We'll need to keep our eyes open. It doesn't matter who he is. We just do our job. I see you hurt him, but he's not in the map appointed. Wait, what is this? Wait, this is a thing? A library? This is unexpected. Wow! Oh, well, isn't this a rare collection of tomes? You royals sure have coffers to burn. Oh, books in the ancient tongue! Can you read it? Well, no, but... I just... This has nothing to do with our job. Huh? If you want it, just take it. Don't pretend to be noble. You're consorting with demons. 
Good grief, Velvet. You can't lighten up for once in your life. Lighten up? Did you forget we're here to kill someone? You really want that ratty old thing? There's gotta be way pricier ones. I knew this would be big. What a trip! Show them how. So, Magulu, which way to the worship hall? Hmm, which way indeed? I asked you a question. I told you I've been here before, but I never said I was an expert. And I said we'd dump you if you started to annoy me. Dump me? Then you'll need to look for a trash can first. <sighs> I'm the fool for even trying to hold a conversation with you. That's the spirit. Loosen up those shoulders, and the way forward ought to make itself plain. Well, I guess... Oh, hello. It's a pressure! Lights of wind! Slice them! Come on! Victory is ours. I'll finish this quick. <laughs> I'll cut down anyone in my way! <laughs> Feeling nervous, Lafayette? A bit. I can teach you a spell that will help. Like that eeny teeny spiny crow thing? No, that was divination to draw back the veil of fate. This spell is a bit of magic that will improve your fortune. Here is what you must chant. Magic Kazam! See? It totally works! I'm not sure. What did this spell do? It's a pointless charm to dispel a pointless worry. If it's pointless, why even perform it? Because humans are creatures that find themselves burdened unknowingly by pointless things. In any case, chant after me. Are you ready? Uh, all right. Magic Kazam! Magic Kazam. I can't hear you! Try again! Magic Kazam! Magic Kazam. Once again! With feeling! Magic Kazam! Magic Kazam! Well, I can keep her head already. Again! Magic Kazam! Is that all you've got? Magic Kazam! Keep it down. We're trying to sneak in, remember? What? <laughs> Just an old gag. Shut up. Ow, what was that for? Thank you. I was only easing the boy's nerves. We have more important things to worry about. Hmm. Demons and Malakim are such stiffs. Magic Kazam. Huh? Did that help? <laughs> and now the boy consoles me. Well, that was pointless. Oh my god, I know she's gonna be a player character, but she's so annoying. Like, enjoy it being annoying, but to play her? Ugh. I'm gonna be cover in the back seat. Ooh, okay.
Are you Gideon? I am in prayer at the moment. Who are you? I asked you first. Such ill manners. But what else could I expect of a demon? <laughs> Stop right there! <gasps> Another accurate augury. An ambush. Is this more of your Reaper's curse? Or do you think the old lady sold us out? You figured it out, didn't you? That he's running the Nectar operation. Indeed. I followed up on each of the incidents you caused, and the trail led me all the way to the High Priest Gideon. Yet you still defend him? The punishment he deserves is for the Abbey to administer. Punishment? How dare you! Do you realize how much I've done for the good of the Abbey? Make her nice and desperate, Velvet. I just know the result will be something wonderful. <laughs> Where are you going now? Stay out of this, witch. Oh, boy. Stand aside. I'll take care of this right here, right now. I cannot. The laws of the Abbey are clear. <laughs> Reinforcements. They have the advantage at range. Crush her head. could run from your true mistress? M -m -m Miss Maki Lou? I'm putting you back where you belong. You, descendant of the Seventh Grove, see our vows renewed. May our prayers of discontent vanish infinitesimal into the void. Remember this true name I bestow unto you, Fushi Cass! Yeah! <laughs> oh, now it is on! Uh oh. That power. Are you an exorcist? Wrong. I am a witch. For whom the universe is a plaything, and the souls of men but motes. Oh, but if it's a name you need, call me Miss Mogilu! A human consorting with demons? Have you no shame, girl? Round two. Oh, 
You owe us, Magi. Oh, I'm nothing like Rokuro. You are forgetting my debt so fast. Then pay us back right here. Always invest responsibly, children. Wait! All I did, I did for the sake of the Abbey. We needed money to build the temple. That's why I sold the nectar. I know I was wrong to produce so much of it, but I was only trying to help the people as best I could. Let's talk this over. Who ordered you here? Was it the sick? Was it the doctors? Or... No. Or was it Artorius? I knew it! Damn his eyes! So he wants to wipe me out of existence, does he? That bastard! After all the work I did for him! No! Velvet? That false savior will pay! So easily. You can't die now. You think you could read books when you're dead? Uh, don't you die either, Velvet. Christy's getting away. He won't. I'll hunt him down. Level up. Oh, new stuff. And I must have stuff. 